guys, Handy Capable Gamer here, welcoming you back to the channel, and today I'm bringing you another PlayStation VR review. An important aspect of video games, specifically in VR, is to give us experiences that we either can't get in real life or that mirror a real life situation. When one thinks about ping pong, some things that might come to mind are an after school activity, a collegiate party game, or even a family get-together. Ping pong is a game that is a facet of mainstream culture for almost any age group, whether they have seen it played or played it themselves. Even some of the earliest video games could have been inspired by ping pong. Take for example Pong, the Atari arcade game that served as the first experience with video games for many diehard gamers. While I won't say that there has been an iteration of ping pong on every gaming system, it's definitely remained present in our society, both in gaming and in real life as an activity. A lot of people were excited about the idea of a ping pong game coming to the PlayStation VR, myself included. The reason I like the idea of it is because I'm unable to play ping pong in real life since it doesn't work well from a wheelchair bound position. Yes, I can hit the ball, seated, but when it comes to making a save on the side of the table in a quick fashion, that would be simply impossible in reality. I was hoping, however, to be able to accomplish this in virtual reality, so I quickly downloaded VR Ping Pong by Merge Games. Here are my thoughts. The game was pr released priced at $14.99 in the PlayStation Store. To me, this seems a bit overpriced, considering it is $10 on Steam. I'm unsure if this price difference is due to a decision by Sony or the developer, but it'd be nice to see a little price parity across platforms. Visually, the game is unimpressive to me, because it's done in a Minecraft type style. I personally have never been a huge fan of anything Minecraft related. I don't think those graphics lend themselves well to a sports related game. With that being said, I know that it has a huge following, and I am in no way attempting to discredit Minecraft or its audience. But, since VR Ping Pong is a game about smacking a ball back and forth, I don't think anyone really expects much from the graphics. The audio is passable and works just fine. You hear the sounds when you hit the ball, you hear the crowd when you score a point or miss. What is lost in this department? is a decent soundtrack while you play, or even the ability to use Spotify during play. Even the noises from the crowd become repetitive after just a couple minutes since they respond the same way every time. A simple boo or cheer, nothing more. From a technical standpoint, I didn't experience any issues whatsoever with Drift, which surprises me because many of the more fast-paced PlayStation VR games with move support do have drifting issues. Another problem I've seen with video games using the move controllers in a fast manner is tracking. But during my time playing this game, I can say that I experienced one-to-one -one tracking almost flawlessly. Sadly, that would be where my praise for this game begins to cease. Probably the most important aspect of the gameplay to make mention of is that there is no multiplayer. Virtual reality is a technology that thrives on recreating real-life experiences or at least instances that feel like they could be real. Unless you're playing against the side of a table that is turned upward, almost anyone that has ever played ping pong has done so with another person. I have to wonder why we couldn't be given the ability to play with other PlayStation VR headset owners. I think many people will feel that this is an immediate reason for them to not jump and purchase this title. Without a doubt, I believe the most unforgivable problem with VR Ping Pong is the balancing and physics during gameplay. Ping Pong is a game about finesse, delicacy, and timing. From the second I started playing the game, I could not hit the ball the way I wanted. Everything would respond accordingly, as I said before, the, traffic, the tracking is perfect, but I would either hit the ball too soft 
or too hard, no matter how I time my shots. And when I lessened the power that I used on many occasions, I would barely flick my wrist, and the controller would hardly move, but the ball would still fly over the opponent's head and into the crowd or completely off the table. Regardless of the angle I tried or the speed I used, it was almost guaranteed that the ball would be hit way too hard or way too soft with almost identical movements in either situation. I can say with 100% certainty that this was not caused by an issue of playing the game from a seated position. I adjusted the height settings so that the table was perfectly level and where I needed it to be in order to successfully hit the ball. Now, I did miss some shots due to not being able to lean over fast enough in my wheelchair and catch the ball that was going off the table. But for the most part, all of the problems lie in the physics and weight detection, or lack thereof, when the player strikes the ball. Of course, I wanted to ensure that this was not a personal problem, so I had an able-bodied individual play the game while standing, and they had the same issue. The only time they were able to successfully hit the ball where they wanted it to go and score a point was on a rare occasion, and most of the time, it was when they barely moved their hand. This was someone that has plenty of experience playing ping pong in real life and knows what kind of power is acceptable to keep the ball on the table and score against your opponent. Their big complaint after playing a few sets was that no matter how hard they hit the ball or how soft they hit it, they always over or undershot where they wanted the ball to go. Being that this game revolves around proper timing and the right amount of power, the lackluster physics are a major problem, and for that reason, I can't recommend this game for anyone that wants a realistic ping pong experience. Due to the fact that it is too easy to hit the ball with too much power, anyone that has issues with coordination or a condition that causes shaking of the hands should probably steer clear of this game. Although ping pong is normally played in real life while standing, I can say playing from the wheelchair or a seated position was no problem at all. It is simply an issue of the game mechanics themselves not being up to par. Therefore, I don't think many people will find a great deal of enjoyment in this title, especially with the lack of multiplayer. I know that everyone looks for games that have plenty of replayability. Well, VR Ping Pong has several modes, ranging from single game to a tournament to an arcade mode that includes a skill-based mode where the player has to play against a wall or score into a goal or even uh, play while creating holes in the table wherever the ball strikes. Clearly, the game can be played as long as desired, but the undesirable mechanics and simplistic unimmersive environment does not make the player want to continue playing. The game could be immersive if the player got consistent feedback and was able to get a back and forth rhythm going, but the constant uncontrolled shots pulled me out of the experience. I think this game could benefit from a patch to fix power balancing, add multiplayer, and even add tactile feedback when you hit the ball. Having this feedback would be an indicator of force and timing, which could greatly improve ball control. And by association, increase the amount of fun you have with the title. I am by no means well versed in game design, but I think those changes could be cost effective because, if done right, the changes could result in greater sales. I commend the developers for their efforts, especially so early in the PlayStation VR development cycle, and I look forward to any changes that might be made to the game. In summation, if you're a ping pong enthusiast who wants a great experience in your virtual reality headset, I would say wait for the next attempt or for a substantial update to this game, because as of right now, 
This one is simply a swing and a miss. Well guys, there you have my thoughts on VR Ping Pong by Merge Games. Let me know in the comments. Is this a game you're going to pick up, or did you decide to skip it? Everyone be sure to follow me on Twitter, check out my Patreon, and like, subscribe, and share as always. This is the Handicapable Gamer, and I'll talk to you guys soon.